Hey, Zach. Yeah? You know what I just found out? What? That Flea voice acted the kid from the Thornberries. What? <laughs> Let's get to drinking. Welcome to another episode of the Extra Ordinary Gentlemen. Once again, due to the world situations, or at least the United States Or at least the situation. Minnesota's, <laughs> or at least the, oh shoot, that's my house address. Uh, oh, oh, at crap. least 1552734th <laughs> Street. That is a long house address. <laughs> it yep. really is. We had a file, you know, they, they had a file for extensions because yep. they ran out of numbers. You live, you live in a slum? <laughs> we live yep. in a tent, yep. and it is not a nice <laughs> tent. But the, the tent is big enough to where it needs its own address. Mm-hmm. Yes. And it has a mailbox, yes. so, you know, the post office. Post office needs that. So today we are, like we said, we are a part uh, of the last two videos we have done uh, over uh, recording software of our own we can see each other so we try to be as close as we can and we were able to procure samples to give to one another uh this time it's a little bit different except except for zach yes so this time it's a little different zach is a loser cheapskate so carter went to the store i think that's that's kind of what probably what we're going to title this right Carter goes to the store. Oh, I yeah. went store. to the store. Yeah. Carter buy the whiskey. Mm-hmm. Carter brings home the whiskey. And then Carter drink the whiskey. And then I share the whiskey, the whiskey with my friends. And then you throw up the whiskey. <laughs> I, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I hopefully don't throw up the whiskey. No, 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 no. I mean, not all the time. Just every once in a while. Just to keep it you know, fresh. That's, that's part of the experience, you know. <sighs> you got to keep it fresh. I mean. You can rally. So you can rally. So essentially, so everyone's on the same page. Carter has gave us two samples. Uh, the second one is kind of a bonus one, and then I gave Zach and Carter uh, two samples also. So I think we're going to start with Carter's number one sample. Mm-hmm. So Carter, can you tell what can you tell us about this without giving it away? So it's still uh, fun for us. Um, it's a bourbon. It's a single barrel. Mm-hmm. Um, How to pour mine now? Other than that, I don't know if I can say much else. Yeah, no, that's. I think that's good enough. Then, otherwise, you guys would probably have an idea. Mm-hmm. Last episode, we talked about uh, Laffy or Taffy and uh, the banana Taffy, and then I said cherry licorice for a couple. This is like the hybrid of the two. I get both of those off the scent. I poured myself too much. Yeah, but you I'm poured not us like nothing, by the way. I'm kidding. <laughs> but I'm not going to waste this. No, this is a good. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good. It's a good pour. Um, I was going you off did say of what, at work. I was going off of what you poured in your sample bottles, Dylan. So, Dude, I poured like twice as much. Yeah, these no. are. No. Yeah, no, I'm with Dylan. These are These are all. Oh. Well, 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 Dylan poured too. Dylan, you didn't pour that much either. Okay, I but guess I, as I'm compar- looking comparatively, at it now, comparatively to last time, b- both of you poured very little, yes, like almost very half. It's, in fact, I'd say Carter okay. poured less than no, half. No, mine was like an ounce and a half. I'm pretty sure that that is mm. at least an ounce that I poured. Maybe I poured it. I poured like an ounce and a half. Dylan poured way more than I did, pretty much. Yeah, um, yeah I guess yeah, Dylan did pour like an ounce. And I half. guess I was being a little too frugal. I dig- I digress. I'm um, sorry. I'm sorry. I forget. Do we finish your thought? You were just saying you were uh, mentioning the uh, note. I just said sense taffy liquor or taffy okay. and cherry licorice. I don't get a banana off this. 
But I get apples. I smell sweet mm-hmm. oak. Apples, like oakiness, oak. kind of yeah, caramely. Kind of caramely. You did say at work, Carter. I think uh, that we. So the whole point of this was essentially going and getting something that we have not had, or that you knew that neither uh, the three of us had, right? So I mean, you I told mean, us that this is this is probably not. This is one we have not tried yet, right? I'm pretty sure. Okay. At least from this brand. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try it because I'm just I can't gonna, yeah, I can't diverge any more flavors. It's very mellow. Ha I got you, it's mellow corn. <laughs> it's good. Oh. I'd get so, oh, it's so I'm gonna get, creamy. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna cream. guess a proof level. Mm-hmm. And if that's all right with Zach, mm-hmm. Carter, you either say yes or no, or above or below. Uh, proofing. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess a proof number. Go for it. I'm gonna guess this is under a hundred, but not too far off. I'm gonna guess this is forty-seven higher. percent alcohol. Higher. It's higher. It is higher. Yeah. Is it a hundred? Uh, I don't know what that means. Would that be well? One hundred proof. Fifty percent. Well, yeah. Oh yeah, it's a hundred proof. Okay. Doesn't it drinks a little night later? Yeah, I was, I was gonna say like I it was like guessed. ninety-five or ninety-four proof. Yeah, I, th- I, I, th- I was pretty sure it was under a hundred. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to. All right, now I'm trying to recognize any profiles that are um, familiar with. Also, I'm real like. I'm I'm almost positive none of us have this specific bottle, but it is from a brand that we have had. And if if somebody does have this, I'm I am sorry. But I was very curious about this and that's what I was like I would really like to try this. Fifty percent, it tastes super familiar. But we he doesn't think we have the bottle for it. So what is it a four rows, a small batch? No. No? No. Or a single barrel, I mean? It No. It's not four roses. No. Okay. Is this... Hmm. I'm trying to... Th- this isn't it's a... Not knob. It's, it's not knob. It's not a I was going to say Knob Creek, but... Not, it's not. Not Knob Creek. There's, there's no nuttiness to it. Nope. That's why I was guessing a four roses. If it's not a four roses, small barrel, or small... Small barrel. Uh, Hybrid of the two. Um, yeah, it's... If it's not a 50% single barrel, four roses. That is good. Is it a tur- it's a turkey product, then. This is a Russell's. No, it's not a Russell's? 50%? Oh, man. Nope. Yeah, can you, just, can you just tell us? Cause I, I'm nope. not going to guess it. I mean, Dylan's getting close. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I like this game. I like this game. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta figure it out. I'm so, I feel like I'm. Dylan closing. is on the same. Dylan is on the plane. Have I guessed the distillery yet? Yes. Okay, I think it's a, tur- it's a turkey something. So what from Turkey? is fifty percent. They have. Is it a, one of their barrel proofs or not barrel proofs? Um, no. It's one of their. It's a single barrel. We had the 101. It's not the 101. It's not the 101. No, it can't be 101. It's not 101. Right. I will also say, do you want me to give you a price to kind of narrow it down a little bit? Sure. Um, pretty sure it was 45. Yeah, it's not, it's not the rare breed? Nope. No, the rare breed's like 47 at oh. least, and that's like 116. Because mm-hmm. that's a barrel proof. Mm-hmm. It's not rare breed. It does taste like a Russell's turkey. I mean, it's it's um, turkey. I cannot think of a 100 proof turkey. I did good. I did good. <laughs> if it's if it's not Russell's 100, <laughs> nobody has this. It's stumping me. Well, you want to see it? Sure. Okay, here we go. Let's see it. Let's get a drum roll. Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit. You Kentucky can't see it. Spirit. Oh, it's a store pick? Interesting. I thought those were only 47. This isn't a store pick. Oh, it's a, oh is it not? I no. thought they were always 47. No, this is... 
Um, so I like uh, I, I did not know that. From this, the Kentucky it's Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. This bourbon whiskey is bottled on uh oh eight thirty of last year. Hmm. What else can uh, you tell us about it? This is from barrel number one four nine zero. Stored in warehouse F on Rick number twelve and selected for the bourbon connoisseur. I like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. good. I don't. I guess when I when I drink bourbons, I kind of like a strong fruity flavor. I don't get a whole lot of. I get cherry. I do get lots of cherry and yeah, no, a little bit, a little bit of strawberry. But like, I don't know. And the finish. The body does not lead into the finish that I usually like. No, this is not. Um, this is not bad at all. This is actually it's, it's I, very enjoyable. delicious. It's very good. I have had that when it was still in the maple leaf bottle. Mm-hmm. Um, which oh if you yeah. See one of those. See one of those things. Buy it because I do want the bottle. I, so I actually looked this up on Google because I was like, I wonder if anybody's done any reviews on this. I mean, I I was like wondering what the reviews are for this, and. I looked it up and it had that bottle and I was just kind of like, yeah, that is a they super sw- cool bottle. Yeah, they switched it. I think like a year and a half, two years ago. Um, and you can find them. I think they're still on. I mean, it's been relatively recent in bourbon terms. Um, so if a store is not going through that much product and they have it, you might be able to find it still. So, but yeah, no, it's uh, it's pretty good. That's you said good. what? 40, 45, 40, 45. Mm-hmm. Okay. And what that's what right. other it's not like, terrible. What hundred Russell's proof thing is that that price range? Russell's. Uh, uh, the Russell's. Russell's. Uh, not, not just from from like ten year Wild Turkey though. Henry McKenna. Um, yeah. Yeah. Henry McKenna. Uh, New Riff. That's oh, like yeah. I thought that was I like fifty bucks. Riff. No, I think it's no. like forty forty five. I think the, oh, okay. the cash range is like fifty. Okay. Yeah. And then, because it's a bottle and bond, anyways. Uh, well, so. also the four roses, um, single, single barrel, barrel yep. is about that, one hundred and, and one hundred. Mm-hmm. How much is uh, um, how much is knob? Thirty twenty six. Thirty six. Yeah, I think like it's thirty six ninety nine. When I was at, I, I feel last. like it's always under thirty when I see yeah, it. Well, it's always on. But, not always on sale, but it's frequently. It's always on, on sale. sale. You know. MSRP I think is like forty bucks, but it's always cheaper than forty. Mm-hmm. Not to toot my own horn, but I am kind of pleased that I narrowed it down. <laughs> that was good. good. That was good. I thought for sure it was the Russells. Mm-hmm. I mean, but you know way more than we do, and I was actually really, <laughs> I was I was actually excited like listening to you go through that process. And I was like, is he gonna get it? Is he gonna get it? He said that, and then he's like, "Oh, is it a turkey product?" And then I was like, oh. "I, I did not. I thought I'm gonna go next time I'm at the MGM by work. Mm-hmm. I swear they have one, and it was 47. And I just thought that was the standard proofing was 47 mm-hmm. percent. So I'm surprised to see. I just didn't know that they had a 50. If it's, that's the standard, or if that is like a, a choice they did. Mm-hmm. But I no, I enjoy it. That's cool. Um, what do you guys think? Buy? Are you going to buy that? Mm. I like the rare breed more. Well, that's not that much For more a few expensive. More bucks. Yeah. yeah. No. As far as Wild Turkey not. goes. And then I really liked yeah. when Carter said New Riff. That's a yeah, very similar price. I like. I really like the New Riff. New Riff is good. So I didn't. I'll, I'll I need pass to on to this that. only because I've had others. Okay. It's a hard price range gotta, to fight in. You know, there's lots is. of it's, things that are $40. It is. There's a, a lot, lot of, of good stuff. Right. Like the Henry McKenna, you just have to find it, yep. you know. But mm-hmm. it totally is a contender. Very um, much so. And a worthy ad, uh, adversary at that. <laughs> but I just okay. uh, poured your this is the This is the one I'm actually excited for. And this is this so, I do what, now regret not giving you guys more. This is McAllen. <laughs> this is McAllen, isn't it? Okay, I gotta turn my camera off so I can pour this. I did guess that, yeah. Zach. At well, work. I'm just, I'm just sniffing it, and I remember. What did the, I tell? I'm, I'm remembering I, the McAllen 12 that I had. He said it was a spit. Ooh, it's like a weird cherry on that nose. <laughs> this has to be this has to be McAllen. Nothing goes down this smooth. Like, it's like, like a McAllen cherry does. malt. 
And this is a new new glass I have. Mm-hmm. It smells like a cherry malt. Yeah, it's super. Yeah, it's um. <sighs> wow, that is nice. I've never had Macallan, by the way. Mm-hmm. I might have um, to go and buy another bottle of this, even after like before I finish oh, this. Oh, dude, I I haven't tried this yet. I'm still on the nose. I don't don't tell me any tasting notes yet. Please, I'm not. But... I'm I've, not going I've, to. I've let this rest here I'm... for a while, but I, I get a little bit of ethanol burn. I'm not even going that I close. I just but... poured it. Yep, it's... and I. I can't get any ethanol. I get no ethanol burn. This is so candy. It's, it's like it's candied. Yeah, it's a candy smell. It's a can. It's a candy oh, cherry. It's yeah. like that's what it is. It's it's like um, I can't caramel. Yes, it's but it's like a specific caramel. I can't toffee place caramel. It. It's yeah, more yeah, toffee. more like a toffee. More like a toffee. A little bit oak, cherried. It's a cherried, or it's a candied cherry. On top of it smells like a block, kind of a weird comparison, it but it smells caramel. like a um, a dandelion. If you ever smell the dandelion, it's almost like a candied apple, super floral, or like a yeah. I like can see the candy apple, caramel apple. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah. Super nice nose. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's us, amazing, us Minnesota isn't it? residents, you it, this kind of smells like the moment you walk into the Yellow Barn, the candy store. World's yeah. largest. I mean, it's, that it's is, got that it that blast um, of like bakery goods and sugar. I was talking to Carter when we were at work still. Oh, oh chocolate. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's like oh, ridiculous. A, yeah. intense chocolate right there. You are you are completely right. Uh, but I was talking to Carter, and I'm like, because he didn't tell us, obviously, what, what he got. So I'm like, Carter, I'm, don't, I don't want the answer to this. But I feel like you got a barreled bourbon, and you said space side was the only hint you gave us. And I'm like, the only ones that we have not had – that I knew um, were kind of on our list was the McAllen. So I'm like, you know, that was my guess. So <laughs> I'm going to go on. I'm going to try this now. It tastes like a cookie. Like you a tried, sweet, Zach? Yeah, it tastes like a sweet sugar cookie. That is nice. So I, I don't know, because I've never had any of them. Is the doubled, is there a double oak McAllen or the double barreled? Um, I feel like there's a few different 12 years, but I feel like if there's a tw- normal 12 year and then a 12 year double oaked, yeah, they have a double, this is, they have a double cast. This is, this is the double cask then is my guess, mm. but that's just on pure guess. Nothing to base that on. Cause I have not had any of this. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. It's just super caramel mm-hmm. candied mm. oak. For the price, I might have to go buy another bottle of this. For the price, I'm trying to. They say that young younger McAllen has like a sulfur note on the end, and I'm trying to find it, which I'm I'm looking for it, and I'm not finding it, which is good. It sits on the tongue a lot, or for a long time. Yeah, on coats the, it back in the mouth, on the sides of your tongue. Very, very nice. Um, I'm assuming this is forty percent. If it is McAllen. Or is it 46? I forget what their standard. It's 47.1. Oh, it's 47. 47.1. Interesting. Zach, do we have anything else to say before asking uh, for a reveal? Um, this is really, really good. Any guesses? Any other guesses I mean, other than McAllen? I mean, it could be a Glenlivet. I've had Glenlivets t- that taste kind of like this, but not not so sweet. You said it wasn't. You said it wasn't one we've had. It's none that we've ever and was, had. And you said it was a space side. I said specifically distilleries that we've never had either. Distilleries. I don't think it's Glen Farkless. 47.1 is a strange proof number for a lot of yeah. scotch distilleries. So I'm really having a hard time thinking of a, a solid answer for that mm-hmm. to surround that proofing or uh, percentage because that's. Very strange. Yeah. I don't know. I'm never going to be able to guess yep, this one. Tell us. So many Show us the bottle. I want to see it. Okay. I don't know how to say it for perfectly, but it's the... Uh, it's not McAllen. Yeah. The, <laughs> yeah. The Glen... Oh, Glen Faudry. Oh. Faudry. Faudry. 
the so it's the um, Japanese Mizunara oak finish. Nice. Really, that is gentle. So it's a twelve-year non-chill filtered. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see yeah, what we, we got we're probably here. Way off yeah, from good a job, Glenn Fodry. <laughs> Glenn Fodry is kicking butt right now. How much? Super how much good. you pay for it? That is nice. Um, let's see. It's this a little one, hot. A little hot on the end. This one was fifty. I, I can just find it's not it. Not bad. Fifty-five. I suppose if I had had if I had had McAllen before, the f- supposed lack of sulfur note on the end should have indicated this was not a McAllen. Mm-hmm. Um, but Glenn Fodry, man, you have six, I have not had 60, either of these. Sixty? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good though. Twelve years. It is, and it says that it's, it's a, a limited numero. release. But I mean, I, I bet it's one of those limited releases that's just like around. Mm-hmm. There's like. 40,000 bottles. Yeah, it's like <laughs> always so. around. Yeah, it says it's out of stock in my local Total Wine. Was so. that Chan? Yeah, Chan Hassan. <laughs> That's where I bought this. Really? Yeah. yeah. I never trust the online app. Mm-hmm. They go through certain things so quick and then they just never update them. <sighs> so we got, That's I got really some good. tasting notes here. So it's, the aroma is, er, and um, for smell. So the aroma is bright, vibrant, Zesty green apple notes and a rich and characteristic Speyside fruitiness. Mm-hmm. The flavor is satisfyingly sweet and deep with vanilla oak notes. Balanced perfectly with fresh fruits. The finish is long-lasting with a fruity sweetness. I, uh, I agree. That's I exactly get wood what it and caramel. Like. <laughs> and <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it was, but just the I wanted to try... Just because of the Japanese oak cast. Finish, yeah. Finish. So, um, I still want to talk about this one, but I would say if you have not poured uh, the samples that I have gotten, I would recommend pouring them. Mm-hmm. Oh, pouring, I did. Uh, to I'm best trying. suit these. I'm just doing it now. That's why I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, 60 bucks. That's... I guess I don't know. I don't really have a $60 favorite most of the stuff i buy is less than 50 i'm gonna say this i enjoyed it i don't think i would buy it i'm not a buy at least Mm -hmm. it's good but uh i don't get much more than just a nice candied caramel oak sweetness off of it Mm -hmm. right now at least it's almost too. So it's too m- pleasant. It's too easy to, to drink. Well, and I well, I really like that it's forty seven. Mm-hmm. You know, I think that's that's a nice number. But I do feel like Highland Park, which I know is n- technically not. I don't even think that's that's not Space Side even. That's a Highland, so mm-hmm. it doesn't technically count. So like a Glen Levitt, um, you can get a fifteen, I think, for about that price then. I'd probably stick to that personally. The French oak casks, but I like mixing. I'd enjoy it, up. it. No, no. For I think for that for our purposes, mixing it up, that's a win. That is a win. Um, so yeah, that seems I'm gonna finish that. Yeah, I probably for I'm trying to remember what the price of the I'm looking for the Albertfeldy. Twelve. Oh yeah, that's only thirty nine dollars. I like that yeah, one a lot. I think lot. it's expensive. Yeah, I think this is a little bit expensive. Yeah, for that, that's also not well, a space. What side. we're into, it's not a space side either. But yeah, that's what I would choose. But there's not a lot of space sides I've had mm-hmm. actually. You know, I I when I first got into whiskey, essentially it was Knob Creek and Glen Levitt, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and then essentially the next few bottles I got after Glen Levitt were Islas. Mm-hmm. And then that, I haven't really come back and spent time in the old space side region. But uh, a pleasant surprise. Indeed. And a welcome one. <laughs> All right. Shall we begin Dylan's selection? Yes. So um, these two selections that I have given you guys, um, I told Zach this. One of them I have not actually opened up within the past at least year. Um, and I only tried it once. And the second 
is a somewhat somewhat recent uh, purchase. They are technically in the same category. They are not. Um, Whoa! What? I don't think the... legally they have a classification. What the freak? What? <laughs> Carter smelling it. They both. They're they're <laughs> both like American whiskeys. Legally, I think the definition of these would be American whiskeys. <laughs> okay. Oh, it smells like soap. So, so you didn't. So, so you didn't go, wash uh, your glass, right? Tr- do do A first. A. Okay. No, it's definitely Make the sure whiskey. It smells like really young oak. Oh my goodness. Oh, what the heck? That is a weird. That is that's, young. that's weird. That's that so weird, young. Weird. You know what? You see what, what I the mean? Heck, is that nose? It's so bad. <laughs> oh my god! What the? There's so many things <laughs> going on. on. Yeah. I have a um, I have a rock gnar right next to me, which I have always thought is the youngest smelling thing I have. Let me just. I did not. I did not. When I poured you guys your samples, I did not drink this. I didn't smell it. This is the first time I have done this anything. Is, this with, is with so it young. In the last year to year and a half, it's so young. <laughs> this is one of my first bottles, like purchases. Probably like it's probably in the original fifteen. Oh my goodness, this is. Yeah, this just, smells worse. It's, just, it's yeah, worse. It's, than it's my like rock brown. <sighs> it's like if you had a applesauce with heavy cinnamon in it, Ooh. and the applesauce was turnt, like it was starting to turn on you. That's what it smells like. Yeah, it smells mm-hmm. like bad apple. It smells sauce. like a- it smells like applesauce that's starting to ferment into something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we just got to go into this. We oh my god, um, yeah, you guys go into it and then uh, do the same thing. Try to guess on it. Yeah. I want to hear <laughs> Zach's face is kind of like. Eh. Oh, yeah, he doesn't like it. No, yeah, that is, that is weird though. Oh. Silence. It doesn't Oaky. taste young. Cinnamon. That, it's cinnamon. It, yeah. yeah. It's almost, it makes my it's, tongue it's dry, very fireball, too. fireball like. It's like I eat, ate cinnamon. Come on, Dylan. You giving us fireball? <laughs> no, it's it's not flavored. Hmm. Well, I, would I never can tell it's flavored. not flavored. It's but... finished in fireball. Mm. That is weird. It's whatever that. I forgot what it was, but it was the. Um, the whiskey finished in Tabasco casks. Mm-hmm. Oh, the dickle? No, it's the not The dickle bad. that's finished it's in Tabasco bad. casks? No. This is... That's not spicy like a Tabasco. This is cinnamon. No, Cinnamon and oak. It's like cinnamon oak. Which I don't know why I don't like that. Because in theory, that should be amazing. Mm-hmm. I mean, now that I'm letting it sit on my mouth in my mouth a little bit, or that the after taste, it's kind of creamy. A little bit. I don't mind it, but for some reason, I I don't want to like it. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to like it, and I don't want to smell it ever again. But the the taste is not bad. The taste is fine. The smell is the smell is horrific. <laughs> the smell is bad. The taste is fine. I just don't know. I I just don't want it. Is this a um a Jay Carver? No. Okay. No, it is not from the state. Okay. Nor the Midwest, I would say. Is it a Garrison Brothers? No. Um, I'll give you the alcohol content. It is 46%. Really? I thought it was more than that. Because this makes my throat hurt. I think it's not from the Mm. alcohol. It's just from the (laughs) spiciness. It's, uh, yeah, 46%. Mm. It is four years old. Oh, well, that's why it's still bad. I mean, there's good four-year-old stuff out there. It's just, um, it's it's bourbon. Or American, it techn- uh, American well, I, whiskey. I told you, it's a, technically, it's an American mm-hmm. whiskey. The only, the only thing I know that's like four years old and American is Stranahan's. So, you're you're on the right track mm-hmm. with Stranahan's or Stranahan's. Um, is this their? What what would make something an American whiskey? Just right. N- Bur- n- bourbon has a legal classification. Mm-hmm. Rye has a legal classification. Anything just that everything doesn't else. fall into that. Right. So what wouldn't fall into one of those categories? A high grain content of something that wouldn't be used as bourbon or that, rye, or a one hundred percent content of something. Oh. Hundred percent wheat. Oh, it's a weeded bourbon. Nope. Nope. Hundred percent rye. 
that'll be a rye. Uh, <laughs> the rye would actually kind of make sense spicy. though, uh-huh. off the flavor, but no, it's not a rye. It's 100 percent oat. Is it oat? No, 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 no. Oh, I it, wanted it's it malted. Be... It's malted barley. Oh, it's malted barley. Malted, oh, malted barley. Uh, I American be... malted barley in America would just be an American whiskey because that I doesn't wanted... have classification like it does in Scotland for us. Uh, I wanted it to be. Uh, I wanted it to be oats. So, um, 100 percent. Malted barley, mm-hmm. aged four years in oak, 46%. Is that a High West product? No, it's East Coast. East Coast? I don't think you guys are going to know this. No. I don't think this I know would this. This would be super obscure for you guys. So let me tell you the story of how I got this. Um, I had just listened to a podcast episode, and they were... T- no, excuse me. It was a Whiskey Vault episode they were doing on this Mike, this distillery um, in New York, and they were talking about they were reviewing they were reviewing a baby bottle of a I forgot what it call they called it, but it was about a whiskey that the warehouse caught fire and almost destroyed the casks, but the whiskey was still good, so they bottled it as like a burnt special something yeah yep and so just watching that just watching that and not knowing at the time much about whiskey at all and uh, today we still don't know much but (laughs) um, um, i saw this and i thought it was the like fire warehouse whiskey so i bought it and then found out it wasn't but it's made by the same people Mm -hmm. so this is i'll show you guys what Hudson oh. single malt whiskey. I don't. Oh, I don't I've, seen I've seen those. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I've seen that. I've seen. You those. might know something called baby bourbon. Mm-mm. Okay, so this is a three seventy five. Um, Hudson, New York. Yeah, single malt whiskey. How much? Let's see. Cast- I'm gonna try to see if I can find the price. Oh, this no. This is the stupid part. This thing cost me fifty dollars for a half bottle. Yeah, it was expensive. I mean, and I don't want any more of it. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah for, it being, is, for being aged not, four years, I mean, it's not bad. It is weird. It's not good. I'd rather drink the Rockner. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. That this is. It's just too weird. <laughs> it's weird. All right, can we move on? I don't. I have nothing to say about that. We're not anymore. buying this, I assume, right? No, unfortunately yeah, not. Yeah, we're not. This is no. not a buy. No, we're not buying that. I'm not touching this with a ten foot pole. Ugh. It's just. It's just too weird for me. This is like you know what we're gonna have to start doing with this bottle. I think because I, I. I think I want to get rid of it. Um, we're gonna have to do something with that, like we do with that wine. Oh. But like use it half as a, shots. Yeah, half shot. We'll have to do half yeah, shots. It's of like word. we could do a, we could do a full shot of wine, but we can't do a half shot of no. this because this is gross or a full shot of but this we, is gross. Like I need to get rid. I need to get rid of this bottle. Cause no, let's face this. Nobody's going to drink this willingly. Pawn it off on Brooklyn. Say it's good. I don't think uh, it's just going to sit there mm-hmm. forever, which is fine. But I kind of like the bottle, so I kind of want the bottle. Dump it down the drain. But. All right. So this next one. This one, Actually, this one smells kind of weeded to me. I was going to say something on this one, but I don't know if that's true. I'm going to turn my camera off for a second. It's about the same color. Yeah, this is the most oaky smelling out of the four we've how tried old today. Is this one? It's very... It smells like wood dust. It smells like a wood shop, yeah. Yeah. And then, Where? as far as like just the minor hints, I guess... Wait a minute. How how can you say that on this Hudson? What does it say? This Hudson, it says aged under four years in oak. Can you say, I don't think you can say that, can you? Because it's American, can't you? Yeah, there's no, no I think an age statement still has to be Oh uh, No, an age statement is still legal. So it's not a so it's not an age statement, it's just a marketing Aged under four years? Yeah. It is a statement about aging. Mm. It is not an it age could be statement. Anything, it could be anything from what, one z- month to, four, to three yeah. years. I can't age somewhere under four years. I could put a label on 
I could make a whiskey and it just be completely unaged and say mm. aged, aged under under this is twenty under years. 10, yeah, under ten years. This under is... twenty years. It's just white <laughs> dog, and you're just like aged <laughs> under twenty <laughs> years. I mean, come on, straight off the, the point? still. What's the point of putting an age statement on it if you're just gonna make stuff up? All right. So I Sorry. Get, it's I was... like wood dust, and this is like brown sugar. Is the next one I get. So does does this to you smell? You, are you finding any similarities between this and that last one? On the I nose, mean, a little grassy, but not 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 honestly, not a whole lot in comparison. So, so can you pick? Do you think the notes that you do find that are similar? Do you think they're because of age being similar, or maybe mash bill? I mean, honestly, I would think age because it smells just a little young as well. Yeah, the problem is, like, I don't know, because, like I said, they're technically the same category. Mm-hmm. So. Both American so this whiskeys. is, um, let's see, can I keep this out of the shot? Hmm. It's out. Yeah, test it, and then try it, and tell me what you guys think. Mmm. Ooh. Nice, rich, dark flavors. That, a little that bit is of- rich. Mm. Chocolate, Baker's chocolate. Kind of tastes like a cigar, to be honest. Tobacco. I get it like spicy like I tobacco. Tobacco in my mouth. And uh, obviously oak. Tastes like so sweaty this, gym socks. The notes I, I, on I don't this. get a whole lot of salty this this. Until I... Sweaty gym socks. Still out of shot. Okay. So the notes on this are dried fruit, okay. bright citrus, spices. Okay, yep, spices. Malted cereal and nougat. The cereal I get, the bright fruits or whatever, no. You don't get the dried any dried fruits? Yeah, I, get, I get dried fruits. I don't get citrus. It tastes nothing. Yeah, I get, it smells I don't get nothing citrus. like fruity. Yeah. I get, yeah, like, I get... Yeah, dried fruits and then and the, what was the... The nougat. Nougat. That's what it was. Yeah, I get yeah, that. I get I get, I get the dried fruits and the nougat as well. I, prunes. I'm not finding the citrus on it. Tastes like prunes. Spices are there. Yep. Oh. But... <laughs> it smells too hard. Ooh, did you just... Yeah. Burn your nose. <laughs> Got a little snifter for you. What do you guys think so far? I don't like it. I, you don't like it? I kind of like it. It's a little... I like how, I love how spicy it is and strong and rich. I love yeah. that. It's a, a nice... This sub- is... It's not subtle at all. I love yeah. that. This is way better than the Hudson. Oh, mm. it's way better we're than gonna, the Hudson. If we're staying in context, way better than the Hudson. Technically mm. cheaper. It tastes. It tastes kind of Hudson. citrusy, like an orange, like an orange peel. Not gonna lie, I like this better than I first when I first opened mm-hmm. this up. Uh, it seems to have uh, cooled off a little bit. Mm. So, is this one of your Texas whiskeys? Uh, before I say that, what do you guys think the proof is? I'm gonna say over a uh, hundred. I'm, like, I'm gonna say it's like a hundred and five or a hundred and seven proof. So a fifty. Okay. Three. Okay, Carter, do you have I'm a guess? Say, I'm gonna say fifty percent. So hundred. You're only gonna, you're gonna say fifty. Okay. Yeah. This is a uh, hundred and twenty-four. Oh my two. gosh! No way! No wonder yes. it's spicy. But it doesn't taste. But it doesn't taste hot. This isn't hot at all. It doesn't have alcohol burn. You guys should have been there when I first opened this up. Mm-hmm. It was my mouth was on fire. Mm-hmm. This, this has to be your Garrison Brothers, right? Oh, I, I mean. feel like it's a Garrison Brothers product. No, this is not a Texas whiskey. Not a Texas whiskey. All right. <gasps> this is made. No, no, no. Is this the? Is this the? This uh, is made two miles from yes! where we. Yes. Yes. This is the J. Carver etiquette. No way. This is etiquette. No way. Interesting. Yep. Dude, this is like so weird. <laughs> no way. This is the J. Carver etiquette. Oh my god. Yeah, so god. this is a uh, this is aged at least 4 years. It says aged more than 4 years. It's mm-hmm. so young and at tasting. 
Oh, interesting. I didn't read this part. It's aged um, in new and reused barrels. Does it say what order? It does not. I, mean, I guess I'm going to assume new for the for the majority of its life and then finished. That is super That is super interesting. I'm wondering if the new barrels are probably four years and the unused is probably older. Mm-hmm. That's what I would assume. Um, the unique character of this whiskey is influenced by hand-selected oak barrels from our barrel room in Waconia, Minnesota. When drinking with friends, make sure to pour their drink first in proper etiquette, understanding by connoisseurs throughout the world. That is yeah, this weird. Is like, this is like $86 wow. before yeah, tax. This is how, that we were talking about if we had, we were thinking about trying this. Uh, I remember when you once, came into work. this was over and you mentioned how they do half, half bottles of this right now. Cause mm-hmm. it's not, yeah, I guess, yeah, I would say, I would agree. This is not an 83, you said dollar. It's like 86. 86. Think, yeah, it's not 86, but it's super unique. We've uh, we've talked about Jay Carver a little bit in an unreleased episode, but this you know to that to this point, I wasn't a huge fan of some of this stuff, but I think this is my favorite um, whiskey they've released so far. It is at least good. for sure the most interesting. It's interesting because I remember talk, talking about. Um, you know, things that I wish they would do. And this was essentially on the list, you know, doing a single malt of some sort. And they have a Brickyard bourbon, Their brickyard which is, is super okay. young tasting and grassy. And I don't like it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Their I, normal I guess, bourbon that's the only, is fine. That's the only other thing that they have that I've tried. Besides uh, their, oh, their, um, the barrel. Hunt Club is fine. Their rye. Oh yeah, I was gonna say I had I tried the barrel aged gin, and that was yeah. yummy. That is good. It's, it's yep. super good, but I just don't drink barrel gin. aged no. gin or gin. No, on a, I used, as a sipper. I used the barrel aged gin because I'm assuming that was with me. And I drank or it while we, well, yeah, while we were there. Ah. It, it, that, that's what I used for my flight. They gave it the option after you did the tour. I yep. chose barrel aged gin. Chose. Uh, Oh, the other two. Oh, the weeded one. What was their weeded one at the time? Isn't it Brickyard? No. I thought that was maybe. No, it was um, it was winter wheat that mm-hmm. they used, and it was the. I can, I can probably just look it up real quick. Because you got the Brickyard, you've got the. Ooh, that's vodka. They have Lake House vodka. They just have a. Yeah, I don't know. They're only weeded ones. They're straight wheat and they're Sevilla liqueur. So it's probably the straight wheat because I want to try it. And then. It must be a bourbon. No. The ru- Oh, the Hunt Club. I tried the Hunt, the Hunt Club. I have the Hunt Club currently. I had a cast strength of. Uh, it's very good. Hunt Club. It's good. Mm-hmm. That wasn't too bad. It's been a while, though. It's good rye. Um, you guys might remember talking about this. Uh, the Far North Distillery. Yep. Mm-hmm. They released a uh, five-year-old single-barrel bourbon. The uh, one I proofed at. No, no, it's uh, 98 proof. It's Asian black swan barrels from Park Rapids. Fewer than 500 barrels. Um this just got me thinking about it, but the they made a post today, and because Zach and I talked about their five years and how we kind of want to try it, but uh, apparently this will be uh, the only time they're going to do the five year age statement until twenty twenty four will be okay. the next release. Yeah, so the next five years, <laughs> which seems strange that. They waited. <laughs> yeah. But. Except they're, they're probably just not at a size yet where they right. can afford to, if it didn't work, mess up two or three years in a row. I mean, it would be five years in a row before they would know they'd have to cancel. Oh, man. That is hot. 
it's so weird. I did not. It does not taste hot. Maybe it's because we went. You know, we built up to this. But I mean, it it's soup. It's super taste. spicy. But it's I, spicy. It does not have a burn. Like it goes down smooth. Not. I mean, not smooth, really? but like it's way not smooth. smoother than I get a burn think. from it. <laughs> but the <laughs> man, am I happy that I got to try the etiquette? Mm-hmm. That's good. Is, God, it is weird. If you're, I mean, it's it's this, weird. This is, this is half bottle worthy for forty bucks. Yeah, I, I think because you of its try uniqueness. It. It's just kind of, it's just weird. Or I don't even remember how many they they said they released. Not much. Mm-hmm. It was only like a few thousand bottles, right? Or was it less than a few thousand? I don't know. I don't remember if there was a official number. Um, I don't see it on their website. <clears throat> Definitely, I think the best thing so far from them. Which is good. I mean, that, that means they're improving, which is the whole point. Mm-hmm. You know. I will watch your future with great uh, interest. <laughs> interest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's, that's all I got to say. I mean, look at the color on that thing. You see that? Mm-hmm. I mean, to me, it counts. It, it looks pink. It looks like Through the amber. camera. Yeah. Uh, it looks to me, amber to me. It's super dark. Oh, it just oh, looks yeah. very amber. Like, do I have any paper? Put your hand behind it. Here. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh wow, that is dark. Yeah, it's dark. That's it's super dark. Well, very interesting. Um, I think. Yeah, I think my favorite out of today's is probably the turkey. Mm-hmm. I like the Glen Fodry. That was a lot of. That was so pleasant and chocolatey and vanilla. Very surprised that. I wonder if is that are those the kind of I never done the research, but if that's the kind of flavor profiles you'd expect from finished and Mizanara, I'm gonna start seeking out a lot more of those kinds of whiskeys. I'd be I'd be interested in trying more finishing mm-hmm. uh, of that type. But. Yeah, because it's so I love that is the perfect drink to drink while you're doing something else, watching TV. Playing a game, it's, it just goes down so nice. Mm-hmm. It's a background whiskey. It's a background, background whiskey, whiskey. It makes, and it makes it so happy. It's not I like bet. the etiquette where it it demands attention. <laughs> that yeah, no, it it not demands like the your etiquette. attention, which I think is it's nice when you have like company over and you're like you have to try this whiskey. It's really good, and to more of like uh, somebody who. Not like is super into whiskey, but you know knows somewhat of what they're knows somewhat about well, whiskey. These two whiskeys, the purpose for them is for whiskey nerds to buy them, right? Mm-hmm. No one, no regular mass market consumer is going to go in and buy that. The closest thing they're going to be buying is pro- is either the turkey or the scotch, depending on what their preference is. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know the this Hudson and the etiquette. Are exploratory whiskeys that demand a high price because of their craft, you know, so to speak, um, nature, as well as the, you know, the the complicated flavors, notes, and uh, things that we get from them. Mm-hmm. You know, no one's going to recommend these two bottles to like like your dad or something. <laughs> Carter, like no, yeah. I mean, th- these are Be like go out and buy this because it tastes really good. But to him, and one, one, they're they're one, they're double the price of anything comparable, yeah, mass market wise. And um, the etiquette's cask strength, which is amazing for us, but not going to be great for anyone else to experience. And I mean, um, I've I've given I've given him cask strength before, and he's just like. It's just too much, mm-hmm. right? It, it's just it's not everyone's thing. Ugh, it's too much. So, these these kind of have a focused niche. Um, mm-hmm. that Us. they're shooting for. <coughs> Us yeah. whiskey, whiskey, whiskey nerds, residents yep. of Minnesota who really like their whiskey <laughs> and live whiskey. close by. Wait a minute, we're like, we were the people they made it for. Whiskey the nerds, three people, the three people. We contacted I, Hudson. Distillery just for this. Oh, <laughs> Hudson, Hudson. Not Hudson. What's up, guys? How's it going? But Hudson Distillery. All right. Well, I'm glad you guys could enjoy it. 
enjoy the uh, etiquette with me. I, I, I drank it all already. <laughs> I drank all of mine. What do you, what do you guys think? Are you guys going to go get a half bottle? Probably. I kind of want to. Just, just to have. And so it's $42 on their website. And it's and you can only pick it up at the tap house, yeah, right? I'm, I'll probably dr- I'll buy that right after I finish my barrel proof Elijah Craig, and that'll be the next high Dude, proof I still, sipper. <laughs> I still have a full bottle of Elijah Craig. Oh, do you? Oh, it's yeah. so good. Mine's at like a fifth. I'm almost Mine done. I wish it. I could go find some more of the C919. Mm-hmm. Shoot. I just don't go in my basement enough to go and grab the whiskey. It's too far. I'm just, it's, it's too all far right, to it's walk too far. It. We've we've drank the four. We've reviewed them all. We think they're pretty good, with the highlights being, well, for me, the scotch, for Dylan, the turkey, turkey Kentucky spirits, and for Kentucky Carter, spirits. Carter, what was your favorite? Um, <gasps> I have to say the, uh, the scotch. Scotch as well. I am. Yeah, I, I I've know. never had. I've never had Glen Fodry ever before, so that was interesting. Yeah, the Glen Fodry. That's that's more or less why I bought it. What? Just yep. because I was what like, else? never had Glen Fodry, th- and it's a Japanese Mizunura cask finish. Never had anything finished in um, Mizunura before. And Did you ever have was, any of my uh, Kayo? Kayo whiskey? Kyle? I have not. That was the first whiskey I ever bought when I turned 21. So was that? Same, I'm same assuming thing. it's... Japanese. Yeah, Japanese scotch whiskey. Uh, aged specifically on... It's, what's, it's what? Aged for three years, and then it oh, was it? aged for six six months to a year on the ocean in the Mizunara oak casks. So it's a source oh. whiskey from Scotland? No, no, I just mean scotch is in the style. Japanese in origin. Scotch style oh. whiskey. I see. I was going to say something. Well, essentially, that yeah, the Glen Foundry is definitely on uh, my radar now. Mm-hmm. Glen Foundry is delicious. Glen Foundry, yeah. We, we can try, eventually, the we'll try all the Glens for as many as there are. There's only a finite amount. We'll drink Very them all. We should have a Glen Fest. Glen, F- oh, I like that idea. Glen Fest. Glen Fest. <laughs> Every year we do we another Scotch Trials, but it's only space sides. It's <laughs> all Glen, Glen Fest. Glen. <laughs> Glen Fest 2020. Be there. <laughs> all right all right thank you everyone for listening that has been the extraordinary gentleman podcast we look forward to enticing you next time with delicious spirits but until then goodbye goodbye